been on like a real vacation in years. Yeah, I mean, the last time I was with a girlfriend wasn't exactly the best time. Oh, um, what happened? I don't know, it, su it sucks because like, I felt like I was there with a complete stranger, which is, you know, funny because, but like- well, It's funny now, but- we're, we're closer in this whole situation than I was with her at that time. You think you'd have some okay. intimate, relate, like something would happen and like nothing did. She wouldn't touch me. She, she wouldn't like talk to me. Don't and then she that. would like, just say mean things, you know, like that. And it sucked. But I mean, you already hold my hand, so that's a better start than that. She wouldn't even do that. Like, it was crazy. So. How would you not? Like, all I wanted to do was hold your hand. My past relationships, men have really not shared their feelings at all, usually. But if they do, it's only because I've shared first and pulled it out of them. So that's making me feel really comfortable. And I really admire that because it's hard for men to share their feelings. And he's actually doing it first, which is very new for me. So it's a nice change. Well, fun fact about me, I've, I actually have um, vacation anxiety with other people, but really? because when I'm on vacation with someone, that's when I'm really me. Yeah. And I never, I always had anxiety about like, well, if they see me as me for this many days in a row, there's something there's not, they're not gonna like about me. What are you, what are you worried that someone would not like about you? I don't know, I just, like me being me all the time because I'm a little, you know, like I'm a little crazy. I have my moments. Have you had any relationships that were like horrible or that were absolutely stand out? I mean, I'll have you had one that like really stands out kind of like what I explained? Sorry. Honestly, I mean, this was so long ago, but my first relationship ever, I was very young, it was so toxic. I mean, I was literally told like, you are not worthy of love. Like you're lucky that I even like you. When I was like, okay, yeah, you're right. Stupid, wow, but sorry. you know, when you're so in it, you just believe it because you're like, this person who I really care for is telling me this, I believe them. And he burned me with he a cigarette. You? Jesus, like that's horrible. Said if, if you love me, you'll let me burn you with a cigarette. I was like, okay. How, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. It's a concert. Okay. Just a constant reminder that the past is there. And he just made me feel like I was so not worthy of love. So every relationship after that, I went into it like, I'm not worthy, so I have to prove myself. And then I never wanted a relationship because I was so sick of pretending. I know now that I'm deserving love, I'm worthy of it, but sure. I was once a different person and now I am changed for the better, so. I honestly feel like you should never have to sacrifice who you are to make someone else happy. And your past matters to me. Like, I care about what happened. It's nothing I can change, but like, it tells me about what you've been through. And that story you just shared with me, like, you probably don't share that with many no. people. No. And like, same with me. Like, I don't like bringing up those past things because they're not easy to talk about. It feels so good to have someone be so upfront because I've never really had that before. But I feel like I can be that with you. And that's like important. We're both fully committed, yeah. and that means a lot. I admire her strength, I admire her beauty, I admire her courage. I can't say that enough, like I won't take any of that for granted. Like it means a lot that she was able to open up like that to me. My message to her exes, they're lost. They let her go and treated her the way they did, and it's my gain, so like, I'm truly happy to be her husband. I honestly feel like I've known her my whole life, not just three days.